start the contains topic food. Uh, we start with the food and we have discussed about the food components. To we'll start the importance of other kind of nutrients like then in a food content. To we'll deal about the importance of roughage inside the body. Basically, roughage are these are the kind of plant fiber. Plant fiber. These are the kind of plant fibers made up of cellulose and they are important filtration of elementary canal elementary canal so we should take fibers in a, our regular diet and fibers sources are we should use salad then you should use roots or the next next we'll deal about the vitamins if i deal about the vitamins vitamins are basically of two types if i deal about them. vitamins are of two types these are of two types these two types on the basis of solubility on the basis on the basis of solubility in water and fat first the can be dissolved in water and the can be dissolved in fat fat dissolving water is a b e k and what is one is b complex and c so if i deal about roughage what vitamins water and if i deal about the minerals minerals are also very much important minerals sources if I deal about the importance of minerals inside the body, then suppose I deal about the importance of minerals inside the body. The important minerals are that, for example, if I use the iron, we should use calcium, and these are important. Iron is useful in RBC formation. Iron is iron is important for RBC formation. Iron is important for important for RBC formation and calcium is important for important for bone and teeth for teeth formation. So that's all about the food nutrients inside the body. We have discussed about the roughage, vitamins, minerals, etc. And then this is the all about the content of food content. Uh, let's we did discuss about some disease of malnutrition first of all that we have already discussed about the balanced diet next we have discussed the disease which are caused due to a deficiency of the first video about the disease disease known as disease basically known as deficiency caused by deficiency of nutrients caused by deficiency of so basically these diseases are termed as malnutrition disease. These disease are termed as malnutrition disease. In this series, first we deal about the P E M. This is termed as a protein energy. Caused by deficiency of protein, caused by deficiency of protein, and between the age group of between the age group of between the age group of zero to between the age group of zero to five years. Then what are the symptoms in this disease? The growth will become stunted. The growth of the body will not happen. Ready about the symptoms. Growth will not happen. Growth will not occur. Growth will not occur. And baby will become thin. Baby will become thin. Abdomen of a baby. Abdomen will become larger as compared to the body. As this is very important that 
What is the symptom of these disease? This disease is a disease. Growth will not occur, and baby will be well. Baby will become thin. The dawn will become larger and compared to the body. Compared to the body, and this disease is happen in the area where Nigeria and other kind of other poor country. So this is a disease which happened due to the deficiency of the protein energy. Next disease is marasmus. This occur due to the deficiency of protein and along with other kind of nutrient nutrient also. in this the growth of baby will stop will stop and muscles bone will not grow so this all about the protein energy malnutrition disease first we are read about the protein energy malnutrition disease in uh, animals like that marasmus and kwashiorkor uh, so these two disease is basically a pem disease in this pem disease basically if i deal the name of first disease the first disease name is the name of first disease is kwashiorkor symptom of this, this disease is basically term as a kwashiorkor disease this is basically known as first one that disease is pem and this is known as qua sure cur disease this is known as a qua sure cur disease so that's where we have discussed about the different kind of things that happens inside the body of the human's body so that's all about today we have discussed today the protein energy malnutrition thanks friend